Well, if you're in the market for a new home, you might want to consider one that comes with a barn, some incredibly scenic views, and a 10-story satellite dish. Well, everyone needs one. It's the Jamesburg <laughs> Earth Station in Carmel Valley. It's for sale, and for the right price, you could walk away with a piece of history. Action News reporter May Chow got a look. She's got the story live from our Salinas newsroom, May. Well, Dan, Aaron, space buff or not, you could own this one-of-a-kind property in Kashawar for a price that many realtors say is out of this world. They're setting up the flag now. If you ever wondered what it's like to walk through a Cold War-era Earth station that transmitted some of the first images of the Apollo 11 moon landing, here's your chance. The James Burke Earth Station atop Carmel Valley is looking for a new owner. I've been selling real estate on the peninsula for over 30 years. And when the owner contacted me, I said, well, uh, this will be a first. Now, this may appear to be a tough sell. Remember, the property comes with a 98-foot dish and facility built to withstand a five-megaton nuclear blast. But realtor Bert Aronson says there is interest out there from people who want to keep its current use as a communication space or transform it into a livable space. I think it's God's country out here. It is fabulous. Nobody will be able to build a 20,000 square foot structure in the middle of Monterey County like this in the future. AT&T operated this station until 2002, using it as the West Coast teleport of the company's communications satellite network. The Earth Station provided all forms of overseas communications via satellite between the U.S. and points around the Pacific Rim. It even captured and distributed images of the 1989 Tiananmen Square protests in Beijing. And if somebody can think of something creative to do with this, this certainly uh, is a steal. The satellite still works, and there are backup generators and a battery room inside the facility. It still can function. It was used a few years ago by some radio hams for a moon bounce. The current owner bought the station nearly a decade ago and began transforming it into a house, complete with an exercise room, a kitchen, and an indoor basketball court. They had one of those mystery parties, you know, where somebody had to find the missing body or whatever it was. It's a neat space. The dish sits on 160 acres of land, and again, it comes with the house, the barn, and nearly 50 acres of land. Now, originally, the owner wanted to sell all three sites as one parcel, but now he's one parcel, but now he's actually going to sell them separately. And uh, the hope is to keep the satellite intact, Dan. But there have been offers to demolish it and sell it for scrap metal. It's really cool looking. It's amazing. You can do a lot of things with it if you have a couple million bucks lying around. you got to figure you could, like, watch any game on the planet from that <laughs> thing, right? All right. Thank you very much. Appreciate it, May. Uh, the current owner of the Earth Station lives in Silicon Valley. It was initially listed at 4.2. The realtor says the price will go down below 3 in all likelihood.